A very warm to everyone. This is you Avali, addressing from SLVM School, Jagpat Nagaram, dealing with the subject English and welcome to virtual learning classes of SLVM School. So children, I hope everyone are fine there and doing good and be healthy, be safe and stay at home. And children, I really want to appreciate you guys from the bottom of my, my heart. Why? Because you are following regularly our virtual learning classes. Thank you everyone. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the grammar and the textual part of one foggy morning. Here we have the video. So, now I am going with the page number 32. Okay, get started. What do you understand by science fiction? Take the correct answer. Okay, we have to understand the science fiction and we have to take the correct answer. Okay, the first one. Stories about adventure involving pirates or sailors who travel to far off lands and are often involved in shipwrecks or battles at sea. Stories about adventure about pirates, about sailors. They travel from one place to one place and they are involved in shipwrecks or battles at sea. Is it the correct one? Did really the pirates, the adventures, the sailors involved on battles at sea? Wars at sea? No, that's the wrong statement. So, I mentioned as into. And next one. Mystery stories about ghosts or crime stories about detectives and a lot of action usually based in a city is really the stories of ghosts, crime and detectives only based in a city? No, they are mostly popular in city outskirts and villages too. So that's the wrong thing. And next, stories about imaginary events on earth or an other planet dealing with time travel and involving alien species or creatures imaginary events on earth or on another planet they travel from one place to one place and mainly they involve on other planet living things that means aliens is it the correct thing yes that's the correct thing and here we have a question that which of these do you associate with science fiction? Why? Discuss in class. On regarding the below options, there are few things which are mainly involved in science fiction. What are those? Saturn, firewood, spaceship, robot, laptop, bird, train and alien. Mainly the science fiction is a word which mainly involves on the fictional stories which are not regular that means based on space saturn and those science fiction stories are mainly based on saturn spaceship robot and alien okay children and next i'm going with page number 36 and we have the roman c Complete the flowchart to show the order of events in the story. Use words from the box. We have to fulfill this flowchart regarding lesson and the hints of the boxes has been given on the above box. Okay, we have to follow this hints and as for the see here, as for the flowchart, they given some arrow marks. We have to fulfill the story regarding our textbook, our textual loading story one foggy morning yeah the first one is the man did a maxim mentally the man did a maxim mentally then after chocolate appear and after then after chocolate a toy appear after that he stretched his arm after that toy car moved and finally the mystery man vanished that means disappeared the Roman totally relates to our, our story, One Foggy Morning. Page number 37, Roman D, I am mentioning it as HW. Do at your own. Why? Because 
the roman is choose the correct answers which relates to our lesson and next roman is roman f use the given clues to complete the crossword on sound words okay we have to fulfill this puzzle by the given hands okay first one across we have to write across means like this down means this okay sound made by a monkey that is number 1 we have to find one across leaf that is chatter okay next loud noise after lighting loud noise after lighting means we have to find the third one where is number 3 3 here that is thunder okay sound made by lightning the palms of one hands sharply together while joining the two hands the sounds what we get is fifth clap and next high clear sound made by a small bell okay that is look at here tinkle next sound made by a cat meow loud deep cry like that a bull eighth one bellow loud deep cry of a bull is bellow okay next down sound made by a person in pain sound made by a person in pain is the first one crying and sound made by an elephant is look at this number 2 it is trumpet and sound made by a type of poisonous snake for rattle and sound made by a crow cow and next sound made by a dog bark and ninth one sound made by a person to express grief sirens also make this sound wail okay we have to choose the correct verb fill in the blanks okay could you dash me a favor and get some fruits from the market do make give do that means we are asking for some favor make means we have to prepare give means that means we are offering something so do is the correct one roshan was not dash any attention to what the shopkeeper was saying paying not paying attention and next one is the fire man man is to dash the fire under control after 2 hours the fire man bring next i dash the max test 2 days ago took it is a golden dash you should not miss it opportunity seema dash a very good job did i always dash my bed after getting up in the morning make she dash into the car and drove off god kellen has dash lot of friends in short time made i try to wake him up but he was dash asleep fast and the next roman is we have a grammar corner regarding the topic adjectives here is the grammar topic notes regarding adjectives so adjectives what is adjective the words that describe or qualify nouns are called adjectives the words which talks more about nouns which says more about nouns are called adjectives they qualifies the noun how the noun is okay for example if the girl is more beautiful okay how is the girl beautiful i am using green color pencil which color is the pencil have green color so pencil is the noun girl is also the noun so mainly the adjectives talks qualifies about the noun and by adding e or est to the adjectives 
Sometimes they are also formed by using more and most with the adjectives. We add er or est to adjectives to explain the degrees. Adjectives are mainly three degrees. Okay, positive degree compared to degree superlative degree. That's and the topic you are going to learn on before classes. That's a high level topic. And also more and most also should be added to adjectives. We use adjectives to describe the size, shape, color and appearance of something. Mainly to express size, shape and color and appearance. How the, how the situation is going on. Just type of that type of actions we may express through adjectives. For example, look at here. Here, here we have a couple of sets. The first one, thick overcoat. For thick, thick is an adjective word. For thick, we have to write thicker and thickest. Thick, thicker, thickest. When we get er, est at the last of any word. We obviously we say that that's the word of adjective okay and also here is a word comical more comical most comical when we find any these type of genres we may say these also as adjectives look at the example Rina is a beautiful girl how was Rina beautiful so the word beautiful is adjective and donkey is very lovely how was the dog was loving so these all are examples of adjectives look at the page number 39 here we have the topic worksheet roman h identify and underline the adjectives in these sentences okay those small pink flowers bloom once a year how was the flowers small and pink so both of the words are adjectives and my green bicycle is parked in front of a big yellow house how was the bicycle green and the house big and yellow the underlined words are adjectives and third one the man slept in the large rickety chair how was the chair the chair was large and rickety and fourth one Sonam wore a new red dress through the party. How was Sonam's dress? It is new and red dress. And we will serve tea out of the large black, large black kettle. How was the kettle? Large and black. And look at Roman I page number 40. We have a Roman tick the adjectives. We have to tick the correct adjectives. Well, regarding to that picture, look at the first one, wooden, short, clever, green. How was the jar was? The jar was very short and green in color. And next, tall, square, ugly, happy. How was the man looking? The man was a tall man and happy. And third one, sweet, so, round, rough. How was the cake was? It was sweet and drowned. And the fourth thing, long, shiny, red, dark. The bus was long and red. Next one, white, black, dusty, rectangular. How is the road bus? Road was white and dusty. And fifth, sixth one, empty, neat, untidy, messy. How was the room was looking? The room was untidy and messy. Here we have the next Roman. Roman K. There are errors of capitalization and punctuation in the sentences. Rewrite the sentences correctly. Here we have some errors regarding the capital letters and punctuation marks. We have to correct those one and we have to write those on CW. Okay. Look at here. Long ago in the days before television, the first letter must be capital. Okay. And long ago after comma. In the days after comma. Here I have a reputation I given that. Before televisions, 
in computers after comma. Storytelling was an important form of entertainment. After entertainment, the punctuation mark is full stop. Next one. Stories were told orally and passed on from generation to generation. First letter must be capital. Stories were told orally and passed on from generation to generation, generation after, full stop. And third one. Professional storytellers wandered from village to village and everyone gathered around them to listen. Professional, P capital, first letter must be capital. Wanted from village to village and everyone gathered around them to listen. So that's as usual. At last, full stop. And the fourth one, stories were more than just a source of entertainment. First letter must be capital and the last ending must be full stop. They also served the function of teaching values, history and traditional wisdom. They, T must be capital and values after comma and lastly full stop. Okay children, thank you for watching my video. Thank you everyone.